Ooh, what's going on, guys? I'm Jake, the Offensive Gamer, and this is Thief Part 17. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, what I believe to be the final client mission for Ector uh, in this part uh, for the Automaton. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm a busy man, but I'll make time for you. My metal man's nearly complete, Master Thief. The only piece I'm missing is the engine. His heart, I guess you could call it. This device is held by a man who goes by the name Clockwise. The Watchmaker. Oh, you've heard of him? But did you know Clockwise went crazy? The mad fool designed the heart before his mind snapped. He's turned into a hermit and locked himself in his home. That's where you'll find my metal man's heart. Yes, I sir. See things my way. Crazy Clockwise lives in Stone Market, near Grand Marvin. You'll need to break in if you're going to find my metal man's heart. Okay, so, um, this part's pretty easy, uh, overall. Um, I didn't really have any real difficulty throughout the entire chapter, or chapter, throughout the entire, uh, assignment. The thing that, uh, I even actually had, um, didn't have a difficult time finding how to get there, even though I can understand why some people might, uh, it's kind of hidden slightly, but yeah, it's right here. This is how you get there. Or the easiest way to get there, from uh, to my knowledge, at the very least. Yeah. Uh, so, um, I finished doing... I, I did this, and I also finished Chapter 7. So, um, once I uh, finish recording for this, and editing and all that, I will go ahead and do... Oh, shit. God damn it. Fucking god damn it. Uh, I'll go ahead and do record for Chapter 7, which uh, should only be about two videos. Fine, you want to play it that way. No, 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 no. Fuck off. Get out of my way. Alright. Um, okay, no, it's this way. Here we are. And, ugh, Some weird uh, texture popping right there. That was weird. To the left. Uh, with the stones. Eh, whatever. So, uh, I, I should probably go ahead and say this. Um, to anybody who's watching and has subscribed due to this series, thank you, like, so much. Uh, it was only, like, a week ago, I think, that I made my, uh, 500 subscribers video, and I'm already almost at 600 at this point. Which is pretty fucking awesome, I have to say. I'll, I'll go ahead and... No, okay, I don't need to. Um, honestly, like, it's... It means a lot to me. Uh to know that you guys are really enjoying, uh, this series, and I'll, uh, I mean, it's almost over at this point, there's only two chapters left, but still, nonetheless, um, I've had a lot of fun doing it, and, uh, I don't know, it's been overwhelming, in a sense, uh, how well this has been received up to this point, uh, there's only been, like, I think one or two people complaining, uh, not even two, actually, one of them was just, I, I think he was just being a smartass, but there was one person who called me, like, gay or something, because I didn't want to show tits from the brothel, as if that's, like, something that's unreasonable. Like, because I'm the offensive gamer, that means that I'm cool with getting my videos flagged for nudity, totally. But, yeah, so, uh, so, basically, he was just trashing me for that, and, uh, I banned him, because I'm not, I'm not willing to put up with that shit. If you want to, you know, if you, if you want to criticize me, that's fine, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, you know, if you have something that, that's constructive, and you're like, hey man, do you mind, uh, there was, okay, there was this one dude who actually asked if I, uh, could put subtitles on. Um, and I, I'm on, I'm honestly, to, to you dude, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be doing that, simply because the thumbnails would be completely fucked in that case, and I wouldn't be able to make any. Um, in most cases, I totally would, but for this game, the subtitles are, like, in the middle of the screen, and it makes things very difficult to do. Uh, but, like, that kind of stuff, I'm totally cool with. I'll go ahead and read this. Uh, dear Clockwise, it's been too long, my friend. I regret having to, <laughs> I regret having to end our partnership so, uh, abruptly. The Baron didn't exactly grant me time to say my goodbyes. Perhaps we can renew the automaton research on our terms this time. Please take some time to think about it. In the meantime, look over the treaties I've sent you to, uh, sent to your home. Consider them a gift from one artisan to another. I'll contact you soon to hear your answer. Uh, but yeah, I mean... That kind of thing is totally reasonable. I, I I can completely understand why somebody would want me to turn on the subtitles. Uh, the the audio design in this game wasn't isn't the best, so I can I get that. 
But when somebody is just calling me a faggot or saying I'm a loser or something like that or that my videos suck, you're banned. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to give it a second thought. You're banned. And a lot of people might be like, or I, I have actually encountered a couple people saying stuff like, um, if you can't take criticism, you shouldn't be on the internet or something like that, as if that's a reasonable thing to say. Uh, by the way, th these symbols play a huge part in this area, so be sure to try to collect everything that you can. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, like, when people say that kind of stuff, it really annoys me, because it's just, it's unreasonable, and it's kind of ridiculous to say something like that. Uh, because I'm totally, as I said, I'm fine with taking criticism. I'm just not okay with taking stupid criticism from stupid people who have nothing better to do with their time than to try to put me down. Um, so yeah, to those people, uh, fuck you. I'm not, I'm not going to take your criticism. I'm going to ban you and you will never comment on my channel again because I'm not willing to listen to that. Uh, enough pe like after hearing the whole thing with the Total Biscuit Reddit post, it really opened my eyes to how shitty people can be. And I mean, I, I've dealt with it in the past, but, uh, if I ever hope to reach it to, the la to that level, I'm not willing to lose my hair over this. I'm not lo willing to gray by the age of, by the age of 25. That's not going to happen. So, um, yeah, if you don't like it, you can go fuck yourself. I don't really care. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. I'm not mad or anything. I just I, I want to make that very clear to anybody. Someone doesn't want visitors. To anybody who feels the need to. Uh, be an asshole. I'm not putting up with it. So yeah. Uh, symbols and patterns. Uh, they're in the sub basement, carved into old stonework, relics of the past, another time. Who left them? What do they mean? Words of warning, instructions. I must decipher these symbols. Put order to chaos. They're the movement powering this grand complication. But so I mean I don't know. Like I'm not being unreasonable with my decisions. Uh, I've I've probably and honestly I don't ban that many people. Um, I've banned like probably in in total like five people in my entire channel's existence, uh, and each and every one of them was completely unreasonable. You know I'm not I'm not gonna ban you if if you're if you're decent if you're not an asshole, you don't have to worry, and do, and I don't want people to feel like they can't criticize my hold on, uh, treaties uh. Treat, yeah, treaties on the Vauclid spatial theory. Several years ago, the renowned Vauclid tests took place. Ten subjects with abnormal spatial brain function were in interred at the Moira Asylum within dark cells of varying unconventional sizes. They were to remain locked in darkness for three weeks while experts monitored their perception of space. On the second week, one subject escaped. He appeared uh, catatonic in the alley behind the test facility. When oh, shit. <laughs> uh, when asked how he left his cell, he, uh, the subject said blank. And, uh, so I don't want people to feel discouraged. If, if you have something that you think that I could do better on, I want you to tell me. I want to be told because there have actually been legitimately times where people have made criticism of my videos and I hadn't even thought about it. And I'm like, y you know what? Actually, that's a good point. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and take measures to fix that. Uh, so I don't want people to feel like they can't criticize my videos or can't tell me, hey, uh, you know, do you mind doing this? Or uh, it would, I think it would be better if you did it this way. Uh, just a thought. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I want you to do that if you feel the need. So just, it's just to the assholes. It's just to the people who, this probably won't even like do anything to be honest with you. I'm just making it very, uh, I'm making it aware, making you guys aware of uh, the situation. There it is. Just because, why not? Also, if you're doing this, don't feel the need to uh, be really quiet or sneak around or anything. There's no point. Just be as loud as you fucking want to. It's not going to matter. Okay, uh, that's another symbol. There we go. But I have to say, that is probably the most annoying, aggravating statement I have ever heard, is when people say, if you can't take criticism, get the fuck off the internet. I've dealt with that, I've, t I've dealt with that statement probably five or six times up to this point, uh, and it never, never gets old. Every single time, it just, it just really strikes to the core of me, because that is the dumbest fucking thing ever. 
It, it truly is. Like, we shouldn't just be okay with people being fucking douchebags all the time on the internet. Just because that's that's the status quo. You'll need more than a maze to keep me out. Just because that's the status quo does not mean that, that it's good. I know this is kind of a ridiculous thing to say, but racism used to be the status quo. I know that these are completely different subjects, but still, it, it, it serves the same point, you know? I mean, just because something is, is the way things are done doesn't make it okay. It doesn't make it good. And it doesn't make it something that should that should be the same, you know? So, I doubt that it'll ever change because unlike with racism, you kind of don't get to... Uh, be anonymous if you're going to be racist towards people. Like, that's just how it's going to be. I mean, if you're racist, people are going to know. Uh, what's this? Uh, okay. Uh, observe the city. Once a attractive, untouched land, now a, b a bustling hub of humanity. We see the city grow as a linear progression over time, one event after the other. But our perception does not mirror reality. The city is everything at once. Virgin countryside, crowded, uh, crowded streets. Crowded. What am I Like, fucking seven? Uh, and vacant ruins. All moments of time exist concurrently with one another. It is our challenge to break the patterns of human consciousness. Only then will we truly understand the meaning of time. And there's another picture. Um. Okay. I'm passing more time in this place. Than oh I fuck! I hate this. I hate this. Like, I legitimately have a burning hatred for this item, or for this puzzle. Holy fuck, finally. Alright, now I can maneuver myself back. Uh, as I said, I, 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 or, well, I might cut it out, but, um, well, I, was, well, I said something, uh, and it depends on whether or not I edit it right, but um, I said I'll probably cut out a decent amount of that, and I understand there might be some people gum uh, coming here trying to find a guide to that, but I literally have no idea how to do that myself. I just basically kept on guessing until I got it right. Um, I might speed it up, just like doing it that way, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so this is pretty simple, um, if you have all the symbols correctly, but, uh, this is the easier way of going about it. If, just look at my YouTube video. That's all you gotta do. There you go. You're welcome. Clockwise's Confession. Uh, the document is a storm of words, letters, and symbols. Only a few phrases make sense amid the chaos. I went into the wall last night, opened a breach, climbed through, into darkness. Jasper's voice called out to me. My boy's alive in another time. I followed the voice for seven hours. My clock said I was gone three seconds. The breach collapsed. So tired. Have to go back. Is someone there? Here? I'm coming, Jasper. So, yeah. He's dead. So he won't mind if we take this. The automaton's heart. Good find. Looks fragile. Don't want to break it. And we'll leave this way. <sighs> nope. Okay, don't need that. I want to make sure I didn't lose any loot, because the first time I did this, I literally got everything I could. Well, it doesn't matter, actually, because I already... Yeah. Alright, fuck it. If I didn't get it all, then oh well. Oh, cool. I did. I got it all. Awesome. So, basically, in summarization of everything I had said about the whole YouTube com uh, community thing and having to deal with idiots is... Uh, you know, I, I don't accept that, that notion that if if you uh, can't take criticism, then get off the internet, as I've proven many times that, uh, like, if you look at my comments, I'm very rarely nasty to people, even if they're shitty to me. I typically prefer to uh, beat them with knowledge, and typically that actually works. I've actually gotten a guy who was extremely upset and, and essentially hated me. Uh, by the end of it, I had him apologize to me, and then he subscribed to me. That's literally something that happened. If you don't believe me, you can look at my contrast videos. 
So, as long as you handle even even idiots with knowledge, most of the time they will actually fuck off. Now, if you get a really bad troll, you just ban them. I mean, that's really... I mean, I, I don't see how that's unreasonable. I understand. Uh, like, a lot of people do. A lot of people get upset when they hear that kind of stuff. They're like, you're censoring me, man. It's like, no, I'm just telling you to fuck off. I'm just not letting you be an asshole. If that makes me a piece of garbage, then uh, then so be it. I don't care. It's my, it's my channel. It's my videos. I do what I want to do with them. And that's really, in the end, what it is. And I hate to sound like an asshole... But that really is how it is, and uh, there's nothing you really can do to change that. Uh, if I hear somebody say something that I don't like, and I, I mean, I, if I don't like, I'm not, I'm not saying that if I hear something that I don't agree with, you could post stuff that, that I may disagree with. I'm not, I, and the thing, sad thing is I actually have to preface this because there's so many idiots out there who might misconstrue it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just want to be as clear as possible about it. I'm, I'm just... I'm not, I'm not putting up with stupid people, and, uh, you know, as long as you're not overtly going out of your way to call me an asshole and say my videos suck, you'll be fine. I I'm just making that very clear. That's all. And I'm gonna go ahead and return this, uh, this heart to, uh, Ector. Ector. Look at me, Ector. Uh, and then, uh, that'll be it. Yeah. I think this is the last mission. By the way, um... I don't know what's going on. I have the DLC for the bank heist, but for some reason it won't launch. I don't know why, but it just won't. Here's the heart. This is it. The moment we've been waiting for. The moment this city will finally give me the respect I deserve. Thank you, Master Thief. The automaton is working at last. You're welcome. So, yeah. The only reason why I think there might be another one is because of this key right here. But I don't know for a fact. But, yeah, so the bank heist uh, just won't work. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't launch it. it. Whenever I go into it, it just brings me back. So there's some sort of issue with that that I'm going to try to resolve. But I'm kind of concerned that I might not be able to... Uh, I might not be able to do that mission. Which would really suck because I shelled out extra money for it. But, oh well. well. I didn't actually shell out that. Not really. That's that's a lie. But still, it, it does kind of annoy me. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, it's time to stop the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and all that, and I will see you guys next time.